I just want to say before I, I start this video that I am not a professional uh, concertina restorer or repairer by any means. I'm just a, a well-meaning amateur so obviously don't quote me and uh, by all means do get some expert advice if you're unsure at all. Hi, I've got a bit of a problem with my English concertina here. Uh, first of all I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to open it up and uh, see if I can see anything that's wrong. I'm not optimistic that I can cure it, but it'll be an interesting uh, exercise anyway. So let's show you the problem. Right, This note here, which is uh, colored red as they are on this concertina, is a note of C, all the C's, like this one here, this one here, and this C here, and this C here on the left-hand side. They're all C's. And so I deduce from that that this is a kind of a student model. Um, so anyway, I've got a problem with this C note here. Uh, it's this one here uh, on the third row down. It's the third button along here. And if I play the note, hopefully you're here. Now the, the bellows are closed and when I uh, pull the bellows out, sometimes called the, the draw, uh, opening the bellows so to let air in. Um, uh, hopefully the camera microphone will pick this up. You'll hear the, sort of the note you should hear and then you'll hear the same note an octave below at the same time. Let's see if it works. And hopefully you could hear that lower note cutting in. Now if I play the same note uh, pushing the bellows closed, the press as it's called, No problem, okay? Let's, uh, let's open them up again to the drawer. So there it is, it's the note which is an octave below. Now the note that's an octave below is actually this note here, which is middle C. But it's not the reed on this side that's sounding in sympathy because you can clearly hear both those sounds are coming from this right hand side. So I'm going to uh, take this end off and I'm going to have a look inside and see what's what. Uh, a few things to say if you were, are contemplating doing a similar thing yourself. Um, if you look carefully, the end is in two parts. It's kind of this part here where my finger is uh, and this part here. Okay, so there's a kind of a, a seam there. Uh, obviously the end here has got all the, the buttons and inside that you've got the levers and the pads, it's called the action. Uh, we don't want to see that, but if we did, I'd need to undo the middle screw here in the finger rest. Uh, the middle screw uh, for the thumb strap, and then that end plate would come off. But I don't need to do that, so all I'm going to do is undo these uh, six screws around the outside and uh, then we'll be able to have a look inside. So I'm going to switch the cameras off and get prepared. Okay, so we're all ready to uh, open up the concertina. Uh, preparation is complete. We have a nice, clean, soft cloth here to lay the concertina down on, and the screws and one thing or another. Um, I've got my glasses, so I can see what I'm doing. Um, got a nice uh, screwdriver that fits the screws perfectly. And basically, I should say before I do this, that if you uh, are not mechanically minded or you really don't know what you're doing, then I would recommend probably not doing this. Uh, certainly, I'm not going to go further than opening up, having a look uh, at the reeds and the valves. But I'm not going to do any major alterations. If I can't, uh, can't fix the fault easily, then I will leave it to an expert. But, you know, I might just see something or find something. Uh, that I can do myself, so we'll have a look. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to uh, take off these six screws, okay? And one thing is very important is to, once you've taken them off, lay them down so that you can see the order that they go in. So basically, you want to make sure that this screw, once you take it out, goes back into that hole. Uh, because they were probably all handmade and they only fit, fit properly in their original holes. Okay, won't need to touch the uh, screws here or here because we're not going to take this uh, 
plate off here, this wooden end off here, this part of it anyway. We don't need to get to the action. We only want to see the what's called the reed pan inside. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you that in a moment. So I say, first job is to undo the screw. So I'm going to put the concertina down safely. Make sure the screwdriver is in the slot properly before you start. And a good idea is to just undo them all a few turns. Okay. So work your way around. Just undo them all, just a few little turns. Take that initial pressure off. Make sure the, uh, the blade of the screwdriver is properly into the screw head. Undo it a few turns. Just work your way around. Always holding the concertina firmly, bracing it. You don't want to slip and scratch your beautiful concertina. Mine's got a few marks, but I still don't want to add to them. And if you've got something that's worth about three or four thousand pounds, this could be a very terrifying experience. So I've undone them all a little bit, and now I'm going to go ahead and keep going around and do them. Obviously, they undo a certain amount. Uh, and then you'll find that nothing else happens because it's a long shank with only a little bit of screw on. So that should just pull out now. That's what it looks like. Okay, hold that up to the camera so you see it closely. So there's a long part here with no screw and there's a screw thread on the end. So that screw came out of the top and so I'm going to put it here. That's going to be the top of my concertina. I'm going to sort of pretend it's like this. Right, we'll speed the film up now, so it's a bit boring this. So all the uh, screws are out and they're laid out over here so I know exactly where they're going to go uh, back when I put the screws back in. So this whole end now is loose and it should just come off and it does. And basically what we have the two parts now, we've got this is the end, the right hand end uh, of the concertina and this button still works, I mean it works still because it's all enclosed and you can see if I just press some buttons here you'll see the uh, the holes opening up to let the air in when the thing's all together. So we don't need that for the moment. I'm going to put it safely to one side. This is the bit we now need. Now the bit you can now see is called the reed pan. So this is an English concertina so the notes are the same on the press and the drawer if you like on the close and the open of the bellows. So basically um, I know that the note that I've got a problem with is C. Now I'm going to need to take this reed pan out to, uh, uh, to deal with that and the way we do that is we just grasp it, grasp the outside of the concertina firmly, put your finger in there and just very carefully prise it away from the, the body. And that's the reed pan clear and now you can see the inside, the bellows are there of course, these are the bellows closed up and that's the other side um, and you can see the reeds of the other side. So again I'm going to put this to one side so I don't need it. And the thing I'm interested in now is this reed pan. So this is the side that you see when you open up the concertina and this is what we call the drawer side. These are the, the reeds that play on the drawer or if you like the pull or when you open the concertina. Going to flip it over and the reeds you can see on this side are the reeds for the press or the push. Okay, and basically what you can see there is a reed and a valve and a reed and a valve all the way around. And you know which one's which because they're labelled here all the way around. But uh, I do know the note that's giving me a problem is this one C2. Push. These are all the push reeds and these are the pull reeds. So basically at C, this is the reed here, okay, and don't ever mess around with these screws, don't undo them because if you do, uh, you're going to cause yourself a massive problem that you can't sort out yourself. 
um, and don't do too much mucking around with these leather valves. I mean, they all look okay to me, there doesn't seem to be any problem. So it's been suggested to me that I pull out the press reed, that's the one on this side for the note, which is this one here. So I'm going to pull this one out, labelled C2, and I'm going to put the concertina back together. And if the if I haven't got the fault, obviously I'm not going to get a note when I close the bellows, but if I don't get that problem when I open the bellows, uh, that's going to at least eliminate that from the equation. Okay? So I'm going to very carefully prise this out. I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to very carefully prise this C reed out. So that's gone. You can see that it's empty now. I'm going to put this to one side safely. And basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the uh, concertina back together again. I have just taken out the, uh, the draw reed and given it a little tap on the table just in case there was any loose uh, muck in there. I'll put that back obviously. Um, somebody's put a nice pencil mark there on the top here and a corresponding pencil mark there on the top so that I know if I put it round and those two are aligned this pan's going to go in the right way. Uh, similarly uh, there's a, an ink mark there and also an ink mark there so that's going to help. So I'm going to put this back now make sure everything's firm and safe. So put my finger in the hole and I'm just gradually off it up and just very gently, very gently push it into place. Here it's clicked in we're now going to do the screws up. When you do the screws up, uh, put them all in, do them up a little bit each and gradually getting tighter and tighter working your way around. Don't put one in, tighten that right up because you might end up warping the, the end. So, you know, it's, it's fairly obvious but just be careful with this. Right, okay, now what I should have now is no note on the uh, press but I should have the note on the drawer. So I'm just going to play that note. Of course when I press there's nothing. So it has at least told me that the problem uh, is not with that read. Obviously there's no sound because I've taken that other read out. So that's quite interesting isn't it? So obviously I'm going to have to open it up again now and I'm going to have to put this read back in and we'll see what we can see. Right well nothing is Jumping out at me here, I have to say that that's actually wrong. Uh, this is the reading question C2. Uh, I mean, the, the valve pops up a bit there. Most of the others seem fairly flat, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. It seems to be, seems to be working okay. Or is it getting stuck? I don't know. Uh, and on the other side, it's the right one. That's this one. That seems to be fine. I've taken both the reeds out of their slots, giving them a bit of a blow. I've very carefully rubbed a little bit of paper underneath them in case there's any muck. But I can't really see any problems. So unless someone on one of the uh, concertina forums can see a problem here. There's not much more I can do, so I'm going to put it back together again. So it's this this reed and this valve here, okay, and this reed and this valve here. I'm going to show it on this camera. That's a better camera. The problem is with this reed and this valve, okay, on that side. On the other side, it's this reed and this valve. Doesn't seem to be any problem at all. So anyway, I'm going to put it back together again, and you never know. I may have done something good. You don't. You can never tell. One thing it's worth saying when you're doing the screws up is that it's probably a good idea once you've got them in to uh, tighten them up 
in kind of opposite. So to tighten this one up and that one, the same amount. This one and this one, the same amount. This one and this one, the same amount. So you're applying an even pressure gradually all the way around. That's probably better than going around the clock face. Right, it's all back together again. Here's the moment of truth. And I can't believe it. I did hear a whisper of it the first time I opened it up. No. Did cut in there, so um, I haven't fixed the fault. I think I've improved it somewhat, but it's. I think it's an improvement. So um, I'm going to have to seek some. Uh, expert help but maybe somebody uh, an expert out there will have watched this video and can tell me the exact problem anyway uh, whatever the outcome I hope you found that interesting and I'll see you in my next video